Hi Gemini, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 4th of April 2022. Okay, and I'm gonna start immediately with Monday, the 4th of April, and Ace of Swords for you. Tuesday, Seven of Wands. Wednesday, Nine of Cups. Thursday, Eight of Wands. Three of Pentacles, Friday. King of Swords, Saturday. And Queen of Swords, Sunday. Ten of Swords, your influencing energy. Ace of Swords, Monday, with Knight of Cups, Seven of Wands with Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups with the Tower, Eight of Wands with Four of Wands Thursday, Three of Pentacles Friday with the High Priestess, King of Swords Saturday with a Ten of Wands and Queen of Swords Sunday with Five of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune, okay, you're influencing energy with the Ten of Swords, definitely some sort of completion, Ten and a Ten, okay, but something difficult. It was a difficult period in your life. When that is over, that's your understanding from earlier on, it's over. New beginning there on Monday with Ace of Swords. Look, Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords and Wheel of Fortune, definitely something difficult out of your life. And something really nice on the horizon, okay, from earlier on, that what you realized, maybe somewhere last week, now, finally things going for the better now you're going to be much happier it was definitely visible like that from earlier on you did understand that change things are going for the better moving towards something much better happier for you new horizon better days brighter days you see what i'm saying on the horizon for you and very much understanding and clarity about the very same thing. Knight of Cups is moving towards something happier. This action, you feel that you are already moving towards something better. You do feel better. That change is already within you. You are feeling better, not this exhaustion, devastation, nothing like that in your life from now on nothing like that you do feel you are moving towards happier times and there's clarity there's truth in it okay it's not just feeling like that no there's truth in it definitely um seven of wands on tuesday with ten of pentacles we love ten of pentacles because it is about money perhaps you've got on your mind some end goal again completion that we can talk about but something very successful successful completion some money that you are expecting something something valuable you are expecting that will settle down okay in your life okay and it's a very valuable and it's there to stay it does have longevity you see what i'm saying you inherited something your business Thrives, okay, this is business that will stay, even if it's changing now, in a way, perhaps changes something, because seven of wands is very persistent energy, insisting on something to stay, to be, even insisting on something to be, to manifest in a certain way, you are perhaps insisting on something, you are working towards something, which will bring that longevity, success, to stay in your life, okay, something which will stabilize your life and you are working hard somehow a bit odd energy this seven of wands i can tell you um something is unusual there and you have to put lots of effort to keep it together but big prize is there you know big money big success so, so you're not gonna spare yourself you will work hard this is being adamant even if things are odd and it's not easy you will gemini succeed you will manage because because you're going to be stubborn you know that you can and you will okay because big valuable thing supposed to come as a result on tuesday that sort of energy you've got a big prize okay in your mind and every effort is worth it look nine of cups with the tower 
look, something else you want for yourself, something more fulfilling, something material, okay? You want better life. With nine of cups, you want better life, meaning you want better core, okay? You want a um, more comfortable house or flat. You want a little bit of luxuries around you, um, expensive dress or suit or something. In that sense, you want to buy good food, eat in famous restaurants. That's what you want for yourself that's on your mind, material satisfaction, including money and everything that money can buy. In that sense, you are changing some sort of beliefs, okay? Becoming more materialistic. Money and what money buys is now the most important. That's what you are working for, big amount of money, something that's supposed to stay, something that's supposed to bring you security, that property or money or something or business supposed to be there from now on to secure cure your life physically. In that sense, you are changing yourself, you are changing your beliefs. You want to succeed by yourself. That sort of change, actually, you feel within yourself. Now, look, eight of wands with four of wands, this energy is very home-like, celebrating, uh, being happy with yourself, being satisfied with yourself. Now you succeeded. You've got something, okay? You can grow from here. You can make more money from there. You can make bigger success from there. But for success, is there, there, that's for sure. And that makes you happy, makes everybody happy. Once you start something new and you've got that success, oh yeah, that is hip, hip, hooray. Now that confirms that you can, gives boost to your confidence gives you power okay to move on further because now you know you can succeed and you were preparing yourself to move on immediately eight of ones wanna move on immediately you will talk you'll communicate you'll um, prepare yourself in whatever way sometimes you need uh, to do some paperwork sometimes you need this documentations to collect and to fill up some forms sometimes you are quoting people or they are quoting you quotations needed for something you see what i'm saying whatever in the air situation okay but it's a lot okay on this day you will be very busy maybe you're gonna be busy around your home okay preparing to renovate your home okay so you are looking for contractors you are looking for architect to give you idea interior designer you see what i'm saying could be something like that as well but you are very busy preparing something which will move Move you forward in your home physically better home your better board luxurious abode could be something like that or you are moving forward with your career you found your stable moment stable stable plateau from here now you are preparing yourself to shoot high okay now you are ready now you are full of power you can do it you can move on very powerful day you might find yourself very very busy on this day no, three of pentacles. Look, that's what I told you about reconstruction on your house, doing something, decorating, also very possible. Okay, Thursday, Friday with the three of pentacles could also mean something related to your career, but you were beginning to build in a practical sense. That home, practical work, decorating, whatever, or it's your career moving in a practical sense. This is your skill, this is your work, this is first money that you receive. Very exciting energy, Three of Pentacles, whichever way that you're looking at, it's a very beginning, it's young energy, takes you further, but with enthusiasm. This is knowing for sure, okay, this one, will bring success that's for sure will bring money will bring beautiful home that kind of thursday friday for you now the high priestess says a bit of time okay still something to happen still this architect or interior interior designer to bring you cost estimates so then you're gonna decide finally once you know how much everything gonna cost and so could be something like that but further information further knowledge you need maybe we are talking you enhancing your skill in order to move forward with your career yes you have to learn you have to polish your skill you have to add something to it new knowledge you must add to master the skill and then you can shoot for the stars with your career also. Could also mean something like that, but definitely extra knowledge, extra something which you will have with time. Okay, now beautiful energies, look at this, it's your Gemini energy, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, we can talk. Um, 
clarity, you in your full power. Whatever that you need to do, it's not easy. Look, Ten of Wands says you feel burden. Something that you will drop very soon, you have to perhaps learn, you have to polish your skill, you have to work around your home, but you do have all awareness and clarity exactly. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Okay, even if it's difficult, there's awareness why you are carrying this burden okay of dust in the house you know it will be worth more you will have your office or you're gonna have beautiful abode just that what you wanted you've got exactly clarity what exactly you want from here uh, from this effort you know exactly what is following what you are expecting you are very clear about it this is a knowing it okay and you are knowing it that's the way that what you're gonna do that's the right way that you know everything everything about movement forward why and how you are doing it maybe you didn't know how to do something practically okay there was something unknown because you've been doing it first time you don't have routine but you do have clarity whatever that is within you even if you feel a little bit uncertain, a bit shaken, okay, or a bit burdened and tired and exhausted, it doesn't matter. You know that's the way and you have to take it. Eventually, you'll drop this load. Eventually, things will be clear to you. Eventually, you'll have your routine. That's what you know. That's the way. What you have to endure, you have to endure. That's your understanding and you are not giving up. You know your way. You will just follow your path and whatever it takes. I mean, you are ready to endure as long as things are going your way. Anyway, enjoy it, Gemini.